Hello everybody, my name is Reed Gabriel, Associate Professor of Clinical Medicine at Methodist University. I would like to share with you my experience in studying and teaching medicine. First of all, you have to know your target. If you navigate without a target, you will never reach a goal. You should aim at becoming a good clinician. If your target is to just pass the board exams, you will never enjoy studying medicine. Studying will be always painful, and you will not retain the information for a long time. What are the problems and solutions in studying medicine? The first problem, too much to know and not enough time to learn it. What to study and not to study. How to memorize. The first problem, too much to know and not enough time to learn it. My advice is to draw your own road map for any topic. Acquire the overall knowledge to see the big picture. It is difficult and hard to see the forest if you focus on the details on the leaves. The second advice is to cluster your information and put each cluster in its place in the big picture. Never memorize isolated bits of information. It is overwhelming. As you see in this picture, you can get more grapes seeds if you can get a good grip on the stem and cluster the information. But a handful on the right side will not be able to get much seeds. Merge information that are similar and pay attention to the same information that is presented in different formats from different sources. You may study the same information over and over in different forms and you get confused. Be organized. Do not throw information into your memory anywhere and anyhow without a link to the other information. Make sure it fits in the big picture. At the time of need, like an exam or practice, you know it is there but you will not be able to retrieve it. Another problem you have to decide what to study and not to study. First of all, understanding is the key. Never memorize. Understand the topic as one story. If the flow of the story miss or misses any link, the internet provides a much quicker and more efficient way of searching for information to make the story one complete picture. Never rely on one source. Mnemonics some
Mnemonics sometimes can help, but your memory won't last. Know also the important rules of the game. To win a game in chess, for example, you have to understand the rules and practice applying these rules. If you watch a chess game and memorize the moves of the pieces, you will be lost if you apply same moves in another game. The other player will change his moves. This what happens in exams or practice. With a slight change, you may feel that you are lost. Know the key points and then proceed to details. And not the opposite. You cannot go to details before you know the key points, main headings, the main picture. The importance is not related to the level of the detail of the information. The important points depend on how this will affect your diagnosis or management. Know only the necessary details which impact the diagnosis and treatment. For example, if you are navigating on the highway and you hear the navigation system says to you, exit now. This is a very important key order. But if it says drive 30 miles on I-95, you will not take an action, you are driving. Same way when you study medicine, there are key words, things that make 180 degree in diagnosis or treatment. You got to know these key points or words. But how can you know the important points or key words? Exams are usually very good in giving you an idea about the important points. Think about the exam as a guide, not as a test. After you do this and not before, you can delve into the references and your textbooks or elsewhere in greater details as time permits. Read journals as time allows. And most importantly, plug what you read into the roadmap that you have in your mind. Now we come to the final problem or question, how to memorize. The most important thing is focus. The brain cannot do two things at the same time. When you study, study 60 seconds in every minute. Focus. When you are on a vacation or taking rest time, you got to enjoy every second. Never cross the borders. Also, when you study, put the facts in its simplest and digestible form. Never study complicated facts, break it down into very simple and digestible form. And don't over incarcerate the information into your memory. You will for sure forget them. They will not be usable. And I would suggest you write down the story in your, in your own words.